Impact. Hey everybody, it's Dan Kleckner here from Impact Strength and Performance, starting off our video series today. So, video number one, we're going to go over some golf myths. So, first golf myth I want to go over with you guys is that is grip strength important for the golf swing? Most people would probably say no, that's because from day one of our golfing and our golf swing, we're taught to have a nice light grip in our golf swing, similar like we, you hear the analogy of holding a bird or holding a, a tub of toothpaste or whatever, real light grip, right? While that may be true, that doesn't mean that grip strength doesn't have its role in the golf swing. When we're going through our golf swing, obviously it's a high velocity swing. We're swinging a club at 80 to 120 miles an hour. When we come into our impact, the hands play a big role at impact, right? So we have to have strong grip strength to be able to generate power with our hands at impact as well as to be able to control that face angle and not let it open up or close too much. Um, TPI has done a lot of grip strength testing with their tour pros and they found that the longest hitters on tour are the ones that have the strongest grip strength. So, um, all that being said, we definitely um, do use grip strength training here with our golfers and I'm going to show you guys a couple ways that we do that. I right, guys, so first way we like to uh, train grip strength here Fat grips, these are awesome. These are obviously extended grips that we can put on barbells, kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever we want to use. Um, you can use them with a million different strength exercises. Obviously, we tend to not use them quite as much with your traditional strength um, barbell and dumbbell exercise. We use them more with our, our body weight and our stability exercises. So we like to use them with our TRX here, with our pulling exercises. So we put the fat grips on here, and then we do our normal rowing motions, our W motion, our Y motion, all of our pulling exercises here with the fat grips on. Another way we like to use it is some of our stability exercises. So we have our farmer's carries. We put the fat grip here on the kettlebell, obviously to make the grip a lot tougher. And then we go through our farmer's carry. This is also a great exercise for shoulder stability and anti-lateral flexion. Obviously just makes the, harder, the exercise a little bit harder with the fat grip on there. All right guys, another way we train grip strength here is with our ropes. So these are our one and a half inch ropes here. Ropes are usually one inch to two inches long, or two inches wide, obviously the more wide they are, the harder grip they are. We use the ropes typically for our metabolic conditioning work, our super max cardio work. A million different rope exercises we can do, um, but here's just a few we like to do. We do our our whips here, All right? We do our slams. Another one we like to do is just our quick rotations here, staying it nice and tight. A um, million different exercises we can do on the ropes, but ropes are great to enhance stability, core strength, but also grip strength. All right, guys, so the last thing I wanted to show you with grip strength is with our tricep rope here. So the ropes are great, our fat grips are great, but a lot of gyms don't have access to that, right? 95% um, of gyms will have access to a tricep um, rope here, right? So what we can also do is use this tricep rope, attach it, I gotta attach the bands here, you can do it to bands or a cable column. We can grip right here in the middle of the tricep rope, that makes that grip pretty tough, pretty thick base right there, it's gonna make it real hard on my grip, and then I can just get into my single arm pulling, my single arm rowing exercises here, right? Um, so, very easy, most gyms have this. Um, again, you can attach it to cable or bands, do any of your pulling exercises. So um, hopefully you guys can take this information about grip strength, start to add it into your golf programming, and uh, start to help get that distance up. If you guys have any questions, please email me at dan at goimpactstrength.com. Thanks, guys.